Hello, welcome back to the channel guys. I thought I'd bring you along because I am planting out some more seeds. Now I really should have planted these a few weeks ago back in spring because it's now summer, but that's okay. Better late than never, hey? Now I wanted to expand my medicinal garden. Um, so the one thing we're gonna try and forage this year is mullen, mullein, mullen. I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's a, it's a common weed, but not really where I live, more down south where it's a little bit cooler. So I have got some seeds. I'm going to try my best to grow it myself. My husband and I have severe asthma, and apparently it's fantastic medicinally for asthma. So that's a main one that we want to grow. Another one is holy basil. That's also got some fantastic properties, which I will explain in a bit more detail in another video why I'm selecting certain things. Like I'll probably do a bit of a tour of like everything that I have and I'll be organized. I'll write notes. <laughs> I'll explain why I'm growing it. Um, these seeds are for ginseng. Now I'm going to give this a go. It says that they can take one to six weeks to germinate. I don't know anyone that grows ginseng, so we shall see if I have luck. Ashwagandha is another one that I'm really just going to wing it. Um, I don't know. This one, it says harvest the roots, which I did know that, that you should harvest roots for ashwagandha. I think this one was more from the top of – I'll, I'll have a double check, but I'm pretty sure the reason I purchased these seeds – was to help for like women's health for like uh during menstruation and things like that so that's an interesting one now catnip i purchased not for the cat i bought that for us um it can really help reduce uh, you know when you get like on those those thought trains and it's really hard to sleep i know i'm the same i know a lot of people are like me as well and it's kind of like an anxious thing so catnip can really help reduce anxiety rather than cats that go and like all spaz over it where like the opposite it's like a yeah it calms us down uh peppermint anything from the mint family have got medicinal properties but they all vary i'll have to let you know what the peppermint one is i can't recall but all i know is i don't have peppermint i've just got your generic mint and i've got lemon balm same family um salvia and hyssop Hyssop, I think that's how you would say it. Again, I'm just kind of learning from books and stuff, so I'm not very good with pronunciation. So apologies if I'm totally butchering those. Um, one of these is really good for colds and flus and just trying to regenerate that aspect. And the other one, I'm having a blank. I read a lot of books and honestly I'll buy the seeds or I'll buy the plant and then I have to cross reference because there's so many around. My fever few is ready to harvest as well so I need to go and buy some vodka so I can start a tincture for that. Now the reason I want to harvest the fever few is because I suffer from migraines and cluster headaches and honestly it's really debilitating. It makes me take days off of work. It's really frustrating for not just myself but my employer. And um, really unpleasant. I think if anyone suffered from headaches and migraines, you'd understand. It's not very nice. I've got a piercing. I've tried all of that. I still get them. Not as severely. Don't get me wrong. They're not like hospital worthy anymore, but still really horrid. Um, fever few apparently really helps prevent them. There's a couple of other things that I'm going to look into in that regard too. Um, how cute's my cup? Is this not adorable? Here else have we got a little horse? Just a side note, love it. Um, all right, let's get out there, get these in the ground, or some pots. I might need to get some pots made up, mainly for the mint ones. I don't really want them like in the bed. Um, but I've got like a little propagation station that I've got some other seedlings in there at the moment that were dying. <laughs> because I wasn't watering them multiple times a day. So I think this will be good just to get everything started and then I can always transplant it into bigger pots if I need to. So let's give it a go. Let's see what's even going to germinate. It also means that I've just got one area that I need to like water a couple of times a day and keep moist. So 
for the lazy people like myself. Hopefully that will work a little bit better. <laughs> This is my little propagation station. I got this one from Aldi. My mum has one that she uses for lettuce. And honestly, I love it. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna grab the same. So my basil was dying because I think it just needed watering more often than I was able to give it. And this was also like so dried out and all crispy. This is oregano. So what I'm gonna do is just use it just to get these started more than anything so I've got my little bits and pieces ginseng mullen do you know let's be brave let's put the mints in I'll put them in the corner peppermint hyssop holy basil catnip can go over there ashwagandha and salvia. You know, maybe I'll put the um, mullen over here because I would like quite a lot of that just because it's very specific to our medicinal uh, issues. <laughs> so this is the salvia. I love Happy Valley seeds, but I hate their packaging. I really struggle with it every single time. Oh, come on. Ugh. All right, that'll do. <laughs> That's my four millimeters. All right, salvia's done. Kiss it. I'm just cutting all the ends off now because this is, I'm really struggling. There we go. Peppermint. Oh, see, again, this is Happy Valley. Love the seeds. Really struggle. Okay. Now, these ones, I'm just going to literally just sprinkle on top. And then you just kind of tamp it down a little bit. That's it. But I want to bury those again. I'm going to do the same with the catnip. These ones say you could put them five mil deep, but I'm not going to. That's just my experience with the mint family. Maybe I should follow the rules and see what happens. I'll do a bit of both. So hard to see with these tiny seeds. I don't even know if any more just came out then. Oh, okay, hundreds did. That's great. So, interest, so these are Happy Valley as well. Actually, I think most of the medicinal ones are Happy Valley. So great if you're trying to find medicinal ones. This is ashwagandha. So we'll get this one in here as well. So these just say... So on the surface, which I'm great at doing that, There you go. That's about half the seed packet. This is the Peruvian ginseng, also known as, I think it's maca. Maca, maca. Um, and this is just one where you're going to pop them on top as well. Again, this one's also from Happy Valley. I think all of these might be from Happy Valley. They just had a really good range of medicinal herbs. Uh, the seeds available anyway, so... Give it a whirl. This will be really interesting to see what the germination rate is like because especially in this environment, like it should be perfect. Lovely. Two 
two to go. So I'm gonna try the mullen now. These seeds are exceptionally tiny. I don't know, if you probably honestly can't see it at all. Like they're so little. And for a herb that grows wild as a weed, it's kind of funny. I thought you'd, it'd be like the mint where there'd be hundreds, but there's not. It says sandy soil. I we no wonder they don't grow here. We do not get sandy soil. It's it's clay where I live. I can only give it a go. I'm not gonna use them all. Uh, we do have a holiday booked soon down south and we're gonna specifically go and try and find some to forage. This one's holy basil. I've been trying to grow this last year and this year, and I've had no luck. <clears throat> so let's just use the last of these seeds and see what happens. My confidence levels are not very low. They're uh, not very high. That's it. Now, keep your fingers crossed and I'll keep you posted on how that one goes. Um, it's already getting warm out here, so I'm going to put this on. Might water them in very quickly and then I'll pop that on and open. It's got vents on top and I'm just going to keep those vents open and see how that goes. But I'll bring you back and I'll let you know how it goes down the track. <laughs> 